Welcome back. So today I have a review for you and my wonderful husband who's so kind, sweet, and generous. Um, well, he went out shopping and I wasn't feeling good that day. I was planning on going shopping with him, seeing anything new at Walmart, and I just wasn't feeling up to par. The weather has been changing around back and forth. My allergies and sinuses have been just stirred up to madness. So he ended up going, and um, I was a little disappointed, but you know, it is what it is. So next Friday, he came home, and he had a bag, and he said he got me some makeup goodies. I was like, oh well, you know. So um, one of the makeup goodies he got me was, I, I don't know why I've never had this one, but I've been wanting it, is the Petal Pusher, uh, you know, from Wet n Wild with the purples and all. You know me, and I love my purples. He also got me a Wet n Wild lipstick. Sometimes these are hit and misses for me, these Wet n Wild lipsticks. But um, this color is gorgeous. It's called uh, Rosebud. So he got me the color Rosebud in one of the Wet n Wild um, Mega Lipsticks. So can't wait to try that and whatever. But this is a review, of course. So I don't want to fully go whatever with all that stuff and everything. And then he got me the Blushed Nudes from Maybelline. The new Blushed Nudes, which is only limited to, I guess, Walmart. I was surprised because, like, uh, these ones I weren't surprised about. This one I was, because obviously he must have been paying attention to what I like or wanted because I had mentioned about wanting to get this one. Um, so, like, I I haven't, this is the only one I've got. I had never got the nudes one, the original one, and then the other two were only uh, limited at some other stores, so I didn't really get a chance to get them because those stores aren't around here and have to go somewhere else or a little distance and stuff and none of them just really reached out to me. The nudes I had thought about, it was an off and on thing, um, but I don't know. But when this one came out, whoops, the, the blushed nudes one came out, um, I know it's supposed to be in comparison to um, Urban Decay 3, which I do have that one. Um, and looking at there's similarities in the colors, definitely similarities. Um, I don't think I would say an exact dupe. Maybe some stuff could be. I, I, you know, um, but there's, there's similarities is what I would say. But the colors are just simply gorgeous. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're simply gorgeous in this palette. I really do like them a lot. And that is what I put on my eyes because I kind of wanted to, you know, like work with it and, um, you know, play around with it and put them on my eyes. And I love a, like a rose gold or pinks or purples or any of that kind of stuff. So, um, so yeah, there's no mirror. So, you know, there's no mirror here. That's kind of a downfall. Um, I don't know if the other ones have a mirror or not. If you have them, you'll probably know, know if there's a mirror. Went to, but it does come with a little spongy, brushy applicator kind of a thing. Um, on the back, it does show you different ways like you can use them as quads, trios, and duos. So it does show you that, like the different uh, ways you can pair it up if you want to. I believe there's only like one mat. I think there's only one mat in here actually. Uh, the only thing is it doesn't tell you that, you know, obviously the colors or anything like that, the, sh the colors or whatever. So, um, but I'm going to go ahead and swatch this white one. Um, this is like a pink, pink tone here. Um, this is kind of a golden tone that I'm going to do right here. And this one's the matte one. Um, let me see, I'll show you. There's those three there. There's the white, the pink, and the gold. And they all have like a shimmer. They're not hardcore though, I wouldn't say. They all, they do have some shimmer. But that's those three right there. And 
like I was saying, this one here is more of a of a matte shade right there. And it's like a, a cream, taupey, cream taupe, beige maybe, color there, like that. It's like a beige maybe. Um, and then this one here is of a coppery color. It's really pretty. Very shimmery. This one here is of burgundy, like a burgundy color, I would say. Shimmery burgundy. So there's those three there. I will swatch them on my arm. So there's those there. Obviously you can see them a little better than the other ones because they were more of a, you know, more uh, for the, probably the eyelids and highlighting and stuff like that. Um, then on the bottom row, I guess it's more of a satin, what I say? I'm trying to get used to shimmers and satins here, so, um, but it looks like a white gray, like grayish white color, as I was saying. <laughs> the gray, and then the next one next to the like white gray is, I would say, a taupe gray or taupey color. This one here. Pretty soft. Next one to that is more of a, mm, of a bronze maybe color, I would say. Let me see. It's kind of more of a bronze color, that one there. And then this one on the end right there is like a gray, more of a definite gray color. So there's those shades right there. See all the colors. Um, oh, now <laughs> it gets into everything. There's the colors right there. Um, the grayish one you can't see too well on me. I'll be honest, because it should be right beside that. But there they are. There. I think some of these are like a hit and miss. Um, then right next to it is I'm trying to I guess a more brown color which is right here. Like a brown? Hey! And then the last one does remind me of the color that's at the very end of Urban Decay 3, if you have it, it's like a purpley black, like with uh, flecks of glitter in there. It does kind of remind me of that, like a purple black. Oh, so there they are, right there. Me trying to <laughs> move my body all around. Just ain't meant to be twisted around like a pretzel or anything. So, I mean, overall, I think they're really, it's it's a really good palette. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty good because um, I know they can be hit and miss with the Maybelline ones because um, I, I, I do like the quads that you get. Um, uh, those ones that come in a row. Um, I can't think of which ones they're called, but um, I, I really do like those ones, and they've always worked pretty good for me. But then I was hearing some people saying about how when they came out with some new eyeshadows again, that the quality wasn't all there, and they didn't really like it too much. Um, so that was kind of partly why I wasn't sure if I'd want to go for it. Um, 
you know, but for $10, it's a really good palette. I mean, if you've thought about getting it and do want to get it, I would say go for it because, you know, it does work. It does, it, it worked fine for me blending in the eyeshadows and stuff. Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's, it's amazing, like, oh, you know, yes, it's amazing or anything. I wouldn't say that, but I wouldn't say it's bad. I just, I mean, like, I'm just saying, like, it's a good palette. It's a, you know, it, it's pretty good palette. And it does have one matte shade, um, but the shimmers, you wouldn't have to worry about the shimmers being, like, I know on my fingers, you know, you've seen how that went on, but when you blend it on your your eyes, I, I didn't have no problems with the shimmers, you know, on my eyes or anything like that. Um, so for the price, I don't think, you can't beat it, you know. Um, and if you like Maybelline, and if you're a collector like me that has to get different kind of palettes or different things, then yeah. Um, so I would definitely say give it a try, you know, pick it up and, and give it a try if you can find it at your Walmart. That's the only place I, I guess that that's where it's supposed to be at. Um, don't know why some of these companies do that, but they do. But So yeah, that's my review. That's my thoughts on it. I think it's a pretty good palette. Uh, and for 10 bucks, you know, you can't beat it and you know, you could take it with you um, Downside is there is no mirror in there and um, There is only one mat in there, you know, so if you're looking for more mats or a little more extra for something for transition That's that's the only one that's there and uh, You know, so but it's up to you really So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Maybelline blushed palette I hope you guys liked this little review, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it, and also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would so love to have you, and join me and hit the subscribe button, and as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, take care, and I'll see you later.